poor blind boy was sitting on the steps of a building. He had a placard next to him which read, Please help, I am blind. And a hat near his feet which had only a few coins in it. A gentleman walking by picked up a few coins from his pocket and dropped in the hat of that boy. He then picked up the placard, turned it over and wrote a few words and kept the placard back in the same place so that people walking by could see and read that message. Soon the hat started filling up with coins. More people started helping this blind boy. The gentleman returned in the afternoon to see how things are going. The poor boy recognized the footsteps of the gentleman and asked him, Are you the same person who wrote on the placard in the morning? And what did you write? The gentleman said, I only wrote the truth. I said the same thing what you were saying but in different words. I wrote, It's a beautiful day and I can't see it. Friends, why do you think so many people started helping this boy after seeing that message? It was because they started feeling gratitude. Thanking God for giving them eyes so that they could see the beautiful day. Gratitude comes from the Latin word gratia, which means Graciousness or gratefulness, being thankful to whatever we have received in our lives. Ingratitude is exactly opposite of gratitude. And for most of us, it comes naturally. Because we forget to be thankful to God while we are running behind our desires for great job, for a lot of money, for big car, big house. We forget what God has gifted us, which is special and unique to us. And we keep comparing with others what they have and what we don't, what we don't. We try to search for happiness outside, whereas happiness is inside. Happiness is in what we have, not, we, what, not what we want. Two psychologists. Robert A. E. Mons of University of California and Michael E. McCullough from University of Miami did an extensive study on gratitude and shared their findings. One group who was practicing gratitude, who maintained a gratitude journal and a gratitude list, reported higher level of positive emotions happiness, satisfaction in life and they were optimistic, positive towards their future and their life. Whereas another group who was not practicing gratitude reported higher level of stress and depression. And they, have neg they had negative feelings towards their future and their life. If we want to become happy and we, we want to get into that first group where we are happy and we see everything positively and optimistic in our life, then we have to practice gratitude. Every single day when we wake up, we have to thank God. We need to say, thank you God for giving me another beautiful day because there were many who were alive yesterday and do not exist today. Thank you God for the soft bed and shelter because there are many who are homeless and sleeping on footpaths. Thank you God for eyes so that I can see your beautiful world and all that you have created. Thank you God for my hands, my legs and all my body parts. Thank you God for the air I breathe, for the water I drink and the food I eat. Thank you God for a beautiful family and amazing friends without whom I would have been lonely and incomplete. 
Thank you God for the good and bad times in my life. Thank you God for giving me great teachers, mentors and many people including some strangers who helped me, who helped, who supported me and who made an impact in my life. Thank you God for my past, my present and my future. When you start thanking God and practicing gratitude, then believe me, you will discover a whole new person in yourself who is positive towards life and who can see positivity in every single thing. You fall sick, you will still thank God. Because there are many who are fighting, who are struggling with life-threatening diseases. You fail in your exams, you fail in your business, you don't get promotion, you don't get hikes, you fail in many things in your life, but you will still be happy. You go through financial losses, but you will still be happy and thank God for whatever you have. By practicing gratitude, you will feel that you are acquiring more happiness, more joy, more satisfaction. You are acquiring more positivity, more inner strength and you are acquiring happiness and success in your life. A wise man said, acquiring or feeling gratitude and not exhibiting or not expressing gratitude is more like you have a gift that is wrapped but you are not giving it to anyone. So you need to practice gratitude. You need to feel gratitude and you also need to express gratitude because there are so many people in our lives who help us in our day to day life. So you need to thank God and thank everyone so that you are happy and you feel successful in life. Thank you.